this Alyssa. I wanted to do my um, January favorites for you. Before I get started with that, though, I'm just curious to know your thoughts about um, if you're working right now or if you're in a situation where the snow from the polar vortex has caused you not to be able to work. I posted today <laughs> on Twitter and Facebook about um, all the things that I had been doing to try to like keep myself busy because, um, and, well, if you look behind me on my dining room table is some stuff from the kitchen because I was like disinfecting the shelves, but I feel like I cleaned everything that I could clean. And then um, I kind of did some projects here and there. I don't usually do like my big spring cleaning until closer to March because I like for it to be warm so I can open the windows and stuff. But um, I'm going insane trying to find things to do. I teach. And so when the school has a snow day, I don't work. And I've worked four days since January or since December the 18th. And so that whole like idle hands or the devil's tools thing is like so true because I'm going insane. That being said, <laughs> I'm going to show you my January favorites. My first favorite this month, um, I actually got as a sample. Um, I haven't, my mom and my grandmother used Elizabeth Arden products quite a bit. But to be honest with you, I never really um, like took a great interest in them because I always thought they were kind of marketed more towards older women, you know, or women that were dealing with the signs of aging. I mean, now that I'm 30, and I have to start thinking about like skin um, kind of prevention things. They gave me a sample of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, and it's just this, um, this, I mean, actually, that's a pretty generous sample. Um, it's just a serum, and it, you go, you put it on your face at night. Sometimes I put it on underneath my makeup because I like, I've heard that this version, this is like the new improved version, is a little bit more mattifying than the original was, which the people on the Sephora website or whatever, maybe it was Maisie's website, were kind of torn as to whether they preferred the more moisturizing or the mattifying. Um, but I have been really impressed with this stuff. I have a lot of acne scarring and I have a lot of freckles, which you can't always see unless I'm like right up on the camera. But I definitely don't have the best skin. And I really like how this is like, I feel like it actually makes my makeup wear a little bit longer and it makes my um, pores and like my acne scars, it's just very smoothing. Now this retails, the big size bottle is like $65 for an ounce or $92 for 1.5 ounces, which I know you guys are like having a heart attack the way I did, but I'll give you a hint. You can sometimes find the old version or versions of these that aren't um, packaged at Elizabeth Arden Outlet. So I would Google if you have an, I happen to have an Elizabeth Arden Outlet closer to me. And I can, I know that you can get this for at least like half price. And so I would check that out. Unless if you got the money and want to pay $92, more power to you. But I'm too broke for that mess. And kind of keeping with the Elizabeth Arden theme is I really like the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. But I think my all-time favorite foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And they have really improved the formula on this since I was in high school. It's been around forever. But um, it, uh, you know, just comes in a glass bottle. And this is, does it say how many ounces? One fluid ounce, and it was $37, which I know is expensive. But usually for me, one bottle of foundation can last like three to four months, sometimes longer depending on like if it's, I wear less in the summer than I do in the winter. But I really like it. I put it on in the morning. I leave for work um, I usually put it on like about 7.30 in the morning and then still at 7, 8 o'clock at night. It's faded a little bit in like certain areas, especially where I'm more oily, but for the most part, it looks exactly the same as when I put it on in the morning. And to me, it's just absolutely worth the money because it lasts forever. And MAC Pro Longwear, um, you know, has an equal wearing time and they're about the same price. So I guess it just kind of depends on the finish you like. This one I find makes my skin look a little bit more glowy than maybe the MAC Pro Longwear does. I love them both, but I think if I could only use one, it would be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sand Place. And I am two in one desert beige, which you can't tell on camera because I have on whiter powder than I usually wear. But um, it's just a hair darker than my skin, which I like because it gives me a little bit of color. But definitely use that chart they have in there because it's like very, um, it's kind of like a chemistry experiment to try to find what color you are. But anyway, and then the next thing I wanted to show you is my sister got this for me in my stocking at Christmas. And I love the Victoria's Secret mascara formulas. I really like the, 
oh, what is it called? It's not voluminous. That's L'Oreal, but luminous, or it has a word, something like that. But I had never tried the Epic Lash Mascara, and it, um, this is just the black. The only, I guess, downside is if you prefer waterproof, this is not waterproof, but I like it because I have found it doesn't smudge at all, and my skin's a little bit oily, and um, it just makes your lashes look really big. And I've used it on bottom lashes and top lashes, and I've never had any problems with smearing or smudging. The only thing is, like, if I, say if I were to cry or, like, get upset, it doesn't necessarily stay on all that well. But it's not as bad as some non-waterproof formulas where it's, like, all up on your face. But that is the Epic Lash. And it kind of, I can't remember what it retails by itself, but you can get it with, like, the 4 for 20 or 2 for 15. I can't remember. The price is when you go up to the front register, um, sometimes it's in those little buckets, right, as you're checking out at Victoria's Secret, but it's also in the makeup case, too. But I really am liking that. And then the next thing, I don't know about you guys, but this winter, I'm just so done. I've All I've done is complain about winter in my last, like, 18 videos. <laughs> but um, I went to Trader Joe's. We don't have one in my city, but I went to my in-laws um, this past weekend. I got lotion all over it. And I got the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. And one thing I like about this, is $5 for a huge thing, which is way cheaper than the body shop. And as you can see, it's already been well-loved by both um, Andrew and I. I just love this stuff. It smells really good. It smells like, um, it kind of smells like cake frosting. It definitely smells like coconut, but it doesn't smell like straight up natural coconut. It smells like coconut cake frosting to me, which I like because who doesn't like cake frosting? But um, it's really good. It's got coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. And I really like it because it's moisturizing, but it's not greasy. So when I put it on, and my hands stay chapped from working at the school where I wash them so much. And I even used this on my face one night because it was just like flaky and horrible. And it had absorbed completely by the next day and didn't... Um, cause any acne, you know, or anything like that. But you can find this in their, like, bath section near the, like, the organic shampoos and the organic toothpaste and things like that, and it's $5. And sometimes they do different ones for this season. I know around Halloween time they had a pumpkin pie scented one or a pumpkin butter that everybody said smelled like pumpkin pie, and I wanted to get my hands on that, and I just don't live near Trader Joe's. But anyway, I love this stuff, and I would highly recommend it. And for $5 for... Um, and it's cruelty free, which I also like, uh, for eight ounces. I mean, this is a huge amount for $5. You can see like it's, and I also like that it has a flip top lid instead of a twist. I think that's just kind of convenient. And then the next thing I want to show you is, um, I am loving nautical print right now. And I went to Target and they had, um, these really cute, they have all different kinds. They have like tank tops, dresses, different things, and all these different nautical inspired print. But I got this tunic. I don't know if you can really tell what it looks like like that. But um, it has a sailboat print with blue and white and yellow. And it was just something different. I really like it. I do have to wear a tank top underneath it because it's slightly sheer. But I just love it. And it looks really good paired over like dark jeans. And I wore it tucked into a skirt one day too and got a lot of compliments. Um, but I really liked it. And it's actually on sale at Target right now for... Um, I don't know if it's half price. It's definitely like marked down though. I think I paid $20 and it's already marked down for like 16 now. So if you like that, I would go check it out. And then the last, or not the last thing, the last beauty thing I wanted to show you is, um, this is my favorite ornament. And a lot of people asked me last month what I had been wearing on my nails. And it's kind of continuing into this month. This is the hand, this is hands down the best glitter nail polish that I've ever used. This is my favorite ornament, and it is um, from the Mariah Carey Christmas OPI collection. And it's almost the exact same color as the Beyond Cozy that came out with the Essie Christmas collection last year, only this one does not ship. I have been so impressed with it. Um, you know, it takes a few days to see any kind of chipping or wear and tear, and even that is minimal. I just was, I love glitter, but I hesitate to wear it because it doesn't stay on very long. And this, A, the color is beautiful. It looks great with all skin tones. And I like it because it kind of pulls both cool and warm. So I feel like that makes it wearable. But the quality of this glitter is just amazing. And you can still find it at Ulta. But anyway, those are my beauty favorites. I'm going to do my non-beauty favorites in another video because I'm trying to make my video shorter. 
Um, and I'll see you guys later. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below and hope you're surviving the polar vortex. Bye.